Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Knoebels Amusement Resort in Elysburg, Pennsylvania. This is my favorite park outside of Disney and it's a free admission park so you don't have to pay to get in and they have some of the best wooden roller coasters in the world, an awesome Haunted Mansion and the food is so incredible. I figured we'd come on out, ride some rides, eat some food and have a beautiful Knoebels kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. I love this park so much and I came here so many times as a kid and like I mentioned it's a free admission park so you only pay per ride it doesn't cost anything to actually go inside the park and the food is so good look at this Oasis Cafeteria presents barbecue chicken weekends half a chicken stuffing and two vegetables for $10.75 you just can't beat those prices if you Google like top 10 wooden roller coasters, I guarantee Knoebels will pop up on that list somewhere. And that's not all they have. They have tons of family friendly rides. Some of the best dark rides in the world too. Like the Haunted Mansion here is so incredible. And Black Diamond is one of my all time favorite rides. And I can't wait to actually show you guys around. The park itself is nestled away into the woods and it's awesome because they have like free cookout spots where you can bring your own food and grill out and have a little picnic and they also rent out cabins too so you can literally just spend a whole entire weekend at Knoebels and it's very budget friendly. My mom loves coming to this park because she doesn't like to ride a lot of rides and it doesn't cost her anything. They have over 60 different attractions here and she gets to just come in and pick and choose whatever rides she does want to ride. And you can buy tickets per attraction or they also have like wristbands where you can ride all day long. And we'll check out the prices once we get inside. When I mention they have some of the best theme park food, it's because it's all like old school style amusement food. Potato pancakes, pierogies, hot dogs, they have spaghetti dinner nights and meatloaf nights. And it's really amazing because the people that have been cooking the food have been cooking the food for a very long time. They also have one of the best carousels in existence. It is so awesome because you have to reach out and grab rings and hopefully snag the brass ring and it's so cool. And like I said, I'm going to show you everything. I'm going to show you everything I love about this park. Because today is a weekend, they're not doing the ride all day wristbands. Instead, you have to buy individual tickets per attraction. And the attractions like usually go from an average of like $3.50 to $4.50 per ride. So we ended up getting $150 worth of tickets and they never expire. So we'll hang on to these and probably use them next year. The family is all here. We've got Bon Bon, we've got Mom, and then we've got Ariel. Look at it. Hi, Hi Ariel. Hi. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you guys have been wondering who Ariel is, and she is our niece. Uh, my mom and sister are actually taking care of her. She is partially blind and deaf, and this is her first time at an amusement park, so I'm so excited to take her on some rides and see how she's gonna like it. Here is a look at the map and like I said, this park is all the way tucked into the woods. You're just surrounded by nature and it's awesome because you see these big roller coasters. Of course, we've got the Phoenix, which is an award-winning ro wooden roller coaster. Then they have Twister over here. You've got Impulse, the Haunted Mansion. There are so many things to do and like I said, it's a lot bigger when you see it on a map like this. The first ride we're going to be going on today is one of the most unique roller coasters I have ever been on and I'm going to be recording on the ride itself but I need to wear a body harness and this one's going to be super fun because it's a trackless roller coaster and it is just so awesome. I'm so happy that it's open today. And here it is, Flying Turns Knobles, a trackless roller coaster, only one in the world. They told us we couldn't build it, but we did anyway. I am so excited. 
this is flying turns right here and it's so awesome because these carts actually have wheels on them and it picks you up and takes you into these big circular like things like right here and just lets you go and you go sliding all over the place it is such a unique experience i cannot wait to ride and sometimes you come here it's closed but not today it's open and you go pretty high up look i mean it gets you it, you go up there <laughs> Here we go. Oh my lord. <laughs> Look at my feet. Oh, there it is. It's just literally going to drop us in there and let us just go. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> this is <laughs> here we go. Oh boy! Oh! <laughs> oh! Current position. Prepare for descent. Was amazing <laughs> wow i love that so much i got a little scared you guys might have heard me scream a little bit wait is the ride not over do we still have more no oh my lord i don't think the ride's over oh it is over okay <laughs> Oh, it's too cool, though. That was so much fun. I screamed a little bit because when you hit the embankment, I honestly felt like I was going to tip over. I was, so, I was hanging on for dear life, but I love it. I would do it again. And <laughs> it's, like I said, such a unique ride. All right, now that we got to ride a ride, I think it's time for Ariel's first ride, her first ever ride at an amusement park. Are you excited, Ariel? Are you excited? Huh? She doesn't know yet. Nope. No? Not, yet. Not excited? No. <laughs> Not excited yet. <laughs> Not excited yet. Oh, yeah. We were trying to decide what ride we should pick for Ariel's first ride and we all decided on the carousel. I feel like that's the perfect like that's the perfect first ride for anybody. And like I mentioned this carousel is special because it has the ring grabbing and I'm hoping that we get a brass ring. If we grab the brass ring, then we get to ride again. Once it starts going, it's going to make a little like ding sound and from this little yellow box, it's going to drop down and you're going to see people reaching out and grabbing it should start happening as soon as all the tickets are collected. You see, there's actually an attendant on there collecting tickets from all the people riding the horses. You know how every ride says keep your arms, hands, and feet inside? Well, this is the complete opposite because you gotta like literally fish hook out one of those rings. Here we go. Is this where we're going? This is the one, huh? Taking this one right there. Yeah.
rings, three rings so far. Can I get one more? Woo, four rings. No brass one though. How do you sign more? She wants more? You wanna do it again? <laughs> Ariel loved the carousel and when we got off she was signing more like she wanted to do it again she was signing more and more that is so awesome I'm glad she enjoyed it I was a little nervous I'm like oh man maybe she's gonna get super like afraid but I feel like the carousel was the perfect ride the music the the horses it's 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 literally the perfect first ride now it's time to go get some food maybe some potato pancakes Lead the way, Mom. To the potato pancake building. Yeah. Bonnie, did you bring, did you rent that? Uh, like a little, uh, yeah, the wagon? Oh, wow, you can rent them. 12 bucks. Well, I think she likes it. Look at her. <laughs> My mom wants some potato cakes, so we're gonna get some potato cakes, but we could get pizza rolls, chicken tendies, pickles, applesauce, and even Gatorade. Gatorade and extra liquid cheese. Another cool thing about Knobles is you can bring your dog. And look at this is Ozzy. Ozzy, we're gonna go on the train soon. <laughs> yeah, you can actually ride the train with your dog. I would love to bring Gracie up here. That is so awesome. Oh, well, thank you guys. Have a great one. <laughs> All right, we've got the potato pancakes and some fresh squeezed lemonade. And this is perfect. Now, this is just a little snack before we have dinner later on tonight. I think we're definitely getting that barbecue chicken dinner. But look at those potato pancakes. Oh, they're just so good. Potato cakes are served with applesauce and sour cream. I just like the applesauce. I like putting applesauce on my pork chops, on my potato cakes. The sour cream, I'm not the biggest fan of. But take a look at these beauties. They fry them up right in the back there. Like you see them, they have the batter and everything and they're very crunchy and flavorful. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at this. Mom, why are you creeping a pickle in my picture? <laughs> I have to show you the pickle. I have to show everybody the pickle. <laughs> What do you got, a pickle? No, go ahead and show your pickle. I have a pickle. I have my pickles. Oops. <laughs> I have two pickles. I have two pickles. I have two pickles. Hey, hey. Delicious. <laughs> delicious. Well, there you go. You have it. The pickles are delicious at Knobles, along with the potato cakes. That's a wrap. That's a review. That's a review. That's a review. <laughs> Ariel's eating french fries. Oh no, she loves the potato pancakes. Oh really? Loves them. Wow. Yep. <laughs> I guess she does like them. All right, enough of the potato pancakes. They are so delicious, but I don't want to get full because we're gonna have dinner at the Oasis later. Get some of that barbecue chicken dinner and the meatloaf. Oh, I almost forgot about the meatloaf. It is so good here. So we're gonna we gotta move along, go ride some more rides. Maybe the Phoenix or maybe the Haunted Mansion. It is celebrating its 50th anniversary this year, the Haunted Mansion. So we're definitely doing those two. I mean, we're definitely doing those two plus Twister, plus Black Diamond plus the splooge, plus a lot, we're doing a lot of rides. <laughs> and we have made it over to the Phoenix. Some say this is the greatest wooden roller coaster that has ever existed, and it is so awesome. We're gonna ride it in a second now. It looks like it's uh, $4.50, $4.50 per ride. We're going to have to switch over to the GoPro because I'm not even going to attempt to bring this on this ride. But look at the sign behind me. World's finest roller coaster. The finest. Bonnie, we got our own car. Here we go. 
We're at the top. Oh Lord, I'm so scared. Amazing. <laughs> Woohoo. That was so insane. We ended up getting our own ride vehicle, our own ride car, and it is so thrilling. I sacrificed my hat to the Phoenix though. I lost it. And now I feel like I need to buy a new hat. Maybe I'll get a Knobles one. Now it's time for the Haunted Mansion, a terrifying adventure in darkness. And because of the 50th anniversary, they've got some cool photo opportunities, including one of the ride vehicles. And then they've got a cake over here that says 50 on it, a little horse carriage. I'm so excited. This is such a great ride. Like if you like that scary dark ride, it's so amazing. I absolutely love it. I ended up buying a new hat because I didn't want to go hatless all day and it's time to go on the Haunted Mansion now there's gonna be some uh, flashing lights and you know jump scares inside here but uh, I also wanted to point out that it costs three dollars and fifty cents to ride the Haunted Mansion and right now because it's the 50th they're selling commemorative tickets so we bought this and we get to give them this ticket to get in the Haunted Mansion and then we get to keep it and they're doing sets of four I like it it looks really cool but now time to head in even the back of the card say 50th on it. That's too cool. Be good. Awesome. I got scared a couple of times of course always in the same exact spots as I always get scared at and Also, they've added a couple of new things in there for the 50th anniversary and I loved that I thought it was really cool and now uh, we're gonna go from a uh, haunted mansion to uh, a water ride 
we were gonna go ride the water ride but we wanted to go over and have dinner first and normally i like to go to the oasis for the barbecue chicken dinner and the meatloaf but our good friend dr ernie and leah recommended us to go to the alamo which is an actual sit-down restaurant here at knobles and i've never eaten here before and the menu looks actually amazing so we're gonna try this out for the first time they've got homemade soups hot sandwiches land and sea combos and even italian specialties and this is everything i like so we're doing this one we got our table and they allowed my mom to drive her wheelchair in but we have to take the wheelchair out which means i get to drive it out I'm backing up, oh, I'm backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. I love riding my mom's scooter. Here we go! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Gonna park it right over here, right next to the Alamo sign. Welcome to the Alamo. Coming in hot. Woo! Oh, 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 oh. I almost, I almost tipped it over. Oh, oh. That's, it's very sensitive. The restaurant itself was voted 19 times as the best park food in the world. In the world. That's impressive. That, I mean, in the world. And they even have specials. Look, today's special is chicken and rice soup, veggie corn, and enjoy the beautiful day. Enjoy the beautiful day. Starting off with some good old birch beer, some white birch beer. I love it. I love coming up to the uh, Pennsylvania and getting the good old birch beer and cream soda. They've got all the works. Pennsylvania Dutch. I decided on going with the chicken and waffles because I heard a lot of people talking about it and then also the chicken and rice soup and I'm very excited. I, I was all in for the barbecue chicken but I, I felt like I wanted to try something different this time. You know what I mean? Even though I'm going to miss the meatloaf. You know the place is fancy when they unwrap the crackers for you. <laughs> Look at that. That's impressive. So we got the soups and we got the salads. Look at that. The croutons look good. Yeah, they do. They look homemade. Yeah, they do look homemade. The soup is definitely home. Everything in here is homemade. Look at that. Oh, much too good. Look at the chunks of chicken in there. I'm all about it. Time for the soup. Good soup. The food has arrived and look at all of this. We got so much, the portion sizes are huge. I ended up getting the chicken and waffles and it's not like your usual chicken and waffles. It's like uh, breaded, like unbreaded chicken, mashed potatoes and it's uh, homemade waffles. And then they've got homemade filling, homemade gravy. Bonnie ended up getting the turkey dinner. Look at that gravy, that gravy looks so good. Yeah, I'm already excited. Mom ended up getting the turkey and gravy too. Look at that. That's gonna be, oh, everything just looks amazing. I'm ready. Instead of using syrup on the waffles, we're using gravy on the waffles. Look at this, oh my Lanta. What did I just do here? I like, oh my Lanta, holy moly. Take it easy now, summer down now, summer down. All right, we got waffles, chicken, stuffing, and mashed potatoes in one bite with gravy. Run it all in one bite. That's the way. Everything is so good, but the stuffing is on another level. Look at that little like crispiness that they have in there. And if you dip it right into the right into the gravy, oh, that is too good. I might take an extra side of stuffing or filling, whatever you want to call it. My mom's feeding me. Yes, yes, try yeah. the turkey. Oh, the turkey is good. Very good. Mmm. When was the last time you did that? I don't, <laughs> I don't think I've ever really thought about putting gravy on waffles before, but the combo is pretty good. <laughs> it is pretty decent, and I like it. It's definitely a unique thing. 
The Alamo did not disappoint. The food was fantastic and I was gonna order dessert and they told me we don't have dessert because we have so many amazing desserts out in the park. They don't want everyone sitting inside the restaurant. They want to go out and explore. So uh, maybe we'll get a dessert later on. Right now, we just had this gigantic meal and the only thing I can think of is the best way to digest is go on uh, extreme wooden roller coaster. I pointed this out last time I was here, but I love how there are homes inside the park. Like, look at this. These are all homes right here. And then Twister, the roller coaster, is right there. Like, we have to cut through like a little residential kind of area here to actually get in there. Now, I don't know if anyone lives in these homes still. I mean, that one definitely looks like someone's living there. Look at that. Maybe they work for the park. They got a little butterfly tent, but you're not allowed to go in these areas. You can't actually access them. It has separate entryways. But here is Twister, another awesome award-winning wooden roller coaster. Look at that. Check that out. Goes all the way up to the top. Look at how high that is for a wooden roller coaster. Wow. The thing about wooden roller coasters, it gives you this sense that it's dangerous and it's scary because it's wooden, you know? And it's creaky and it makes a lot of noise. But boy, when you hit these little embankments here, like it's like called a twister because you go in circles over and over again. You see how there's one track here, one track here? You just spin round and round. Watch, it's actually gonna be coming by any second now. Look at that. Wait, and it's gonna come back again. This isn't even the highest climb yet. Nope. Oh my lord. Ah! <laughs> oh my lord. Ah! I don't want to die. Oh boy. <laughs> Look at the views though. Twister scares the life out of me. The way you hit those turns, like you I, come out of your you seat. come out of your. I really thought we were gonna lose it. Thought we were gonna go right over the side. Like my heart was literally. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, now it's time for the water ride. Bonnie loves this ride. She loved it at Hershey Park, and now we're here. This one's a little bit different, though. Look, it's actually a little wood log, kind of like how Splash Mountain used to be, but except for it says Knobles on it. This ride is $3.50 a person, and also it was $4.50 for Twister. I don't know if I told you that. And it looks like you get wet on it, so I'm a little nervous. 
Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> oh, it's a steep climb. I don't like this at all, Bonnie. I don't like this at all. <laughs> Look at that drop over there. Wait, what a second. Oh boy, I forgot about this one. This is such a nice relaxing boat ride. Right now. Fine, I didn't sign up to get wet. Oh well. I said at the end of the night we'll do something like well, this. We're almost at the end of the night. It's close. The big drop. Here we go. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my lord, I'm drenched. <laughs> my pants are soaked. And I was not ready for that. The other rides like that, you don't get that wet on. Like I know the big drop one with the big tidal wave. I don't know if you guys see, if you guys seen the Hershey Park video, definitely check out the clip of Bonnie <laughs> standing in front of that thinking she wasn't gonna get wet. And then all of a sudden these people just started running past her and she got demolished. It was hysterical, but that ride was still fun. And I uh, got yeah, maybe two more rides, maybe two. I saved one of my favorites for the last. This is Black Diamond, and this is such a unique ride. Honestly, you would never expect it to be the ride it is once you get inside there. At first, you think it's like a nice educational ride about coal mining, but it is so scary. And it actually takes you to Centralia, the uh, town that uh, was on fire from below, like the underneath the ground, the coal mines caught on fire, and that place in Trillia is right around the corner and I cannot wait to show you this now there are gonna be flashing lights and it might be a little scary but uh, it's well worth it
is literally nothing else in the world like Black Diamond. Honestly, one of my all-time favorite rides. I hope the video came out well. I know the GoPro doesn't really come... The, the GoPro really doesn't come out good in low light, but uh, I definitely highly suggest you try to ride it at least once. It's so amazing, especially if you ever come here. I'm running back to my mom and Ariel because we're going to try to ride one last ride. And this one's the uh, swoosh or the smoosh. It's where you get completely soaking wet. And uh, we're going to try to take Ariel on, I think. I think she might like it. Look, there's another one of those houses right next to Flying Turns here. All right, here we go. The squoosh. Oh, boy. $3.50. Completely drenched. I mean, we didn't stand a chance. Ariel liked the ride. I don't think she liked the water though. It was kind of funny because once she got down, she kept on uh, signing for rain, right? Yeah. It was. <laughs> but overall, we had a great day at Knobles, and I hope when you guys watch this video, you realize why I love it so much. It is such a family fun park i mean everyone got to enjoy their time here the food was fantastic the rides were amazing and i love it so i hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye bye, bye ariel bye say bye bye, bye. <laughs>